Hey, Shalom. Okay, like you've all praised honor and glory to Yahweh. Bless him, Yahweh Shai. Bless him, Rakakadash. Okay, double honors to our apostles, elders, and bishops of Great Millstone that rule well. And citations of peace and much blessings to the hopeful elect of the children of Israel. Um, okay, let me throw this together in the video. Uh, these, these, clearly, these ain't the people. Clearly, these ain't the people. You know, because they weren't given that gift of, uh, of faith and and uh, and hope, which t the two words are synonymous with each other. All right, and again, uh, as the scripture says in um, Psalms one thirty-seven, I might be wrong on that. There's, you know what? Before I even do that, quote it. Let me get it, just so you know the precept itself. All right, um, that the Lord's not dealing with these people, nor any other nation other than. The Israelites, just the Israelites, it's just us. You know, that can't be stressed enough. You know, and it has to be stressed. And it's I mean it's going it's been stressed by the you know, all the true men of the Lord, the true prophets. They're stressing the name and you know, this they're, they're stressing the, the the truth, period. Okay. It's one forty seven. That's actually one of my favorite pre precepts here. You know. Uh, one thirty seven. So let me, it's 147, if I'm correct. 147. It's like I had to pause it for a second. All right, all right um, uh, here we go. S Psalms 147 and 19. Again, he's not dealing with these people, man. It's just us. All right. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes, and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. All right, so you know what? Hold up. Let me do this. You know, to deal with somebody, to deal with somebody. Let's see, just let's see what the precept gives us in 147. What? <laughs> Did I spell it wrong? Oh, D-E-A. Just those small things you slip up on. All right, so I, I just just want to go into that word dealt. Because this cracks me up. You know, when you read this, IDF plays hopes <laughs> in new laser anti-rocket systems amid expanding war. You know, hopefully no. Uh, Carnal things. That's crazy. All right. To dealt, dealt. To do, fashion, accomplish, make. To do work, make, and produce. To do, to work, to deal, to deal with. To act, act with effect, effect, to make, to make, to produce. You know, people, that, that nation hasn't produced shit. You know, especially when it comes to uh, all the inventions, man. You know, Jake has it, it, it has invented everything. Even though this devil has been blessed with the sword and coming up with all kind of wicked ideals to kill and to maim. You know, this devil pretty much ain't in, uh, create invent, and he hasn't invented nothing. And so the Lord's not do dealing with them. There's a, a book I highly recommend you to get is uh, those books on uh, the uh, Negro inventions. Or I have two of them. I can't remember the name of them. I haven't picked them up in so long. Anyway, let me continue on. To make an offering, to attend to, put in order, to observe, celebrate, to acquire, to appoint, ordain, institute, to appoint, ordain, institute. I like that one there. You know, he has not dealt. To bring about, to use. So let's go down here. A primitive root to do or make in the broadest sense and widest ap implication, application, accomplish, advance, appoint, be at, become, bear, bestow, bring forth. So again, you can just go through all that. He have not dealt so with any nation. And let me do this as well. I didn't mean to do that. I 
Okay, let me do it this way. Okay, the meaning of del here, to distribute in any orderly rotation to players for a game or round. Number two, take part in commercial trading or a particular commodity. I, I, I here I hit up dealt and hit, it gives me deal, which uh, they're the same, but what does it mean to have dealt with something? To do something about a person or thing that caused a problem or a difficult situation, to do something about. What does it mean to doubt someone? To talk to someone or meet someone, especially as part of your job. So you get the point. You know, it's just specifically telling you that he needs to, to, to deal with someone or, you know, you know, what is the short meaning of dealt? To sell or distribute something as a business. What does dealt mean in a law? To engage in bargaining. Was an example of dealt. We dealt with so many problems when we were shooting in New York, like trying to shoot during Hurricane Sandy. <laughs> what does dealt with anyone mean? To find a way to talk to someone or work with someone, especially part of a job. So there you go. You pretty much got the point. He does not dealt with any nation and ask for the judge, which they have not known them. So, you know, just more proof that I mean, they, 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 they just can't be the people, man. You know, it just doesn't line up. It just don't make any sense whatsoever. So um, let me grab this precept, this first Thessalonians 5, I think it's first. That's, I'm not sure if it was 12, but let me, let me see, let me just hit it up, because 5 and 12 come up, I must have pulled it up before, and it's the one with the armor, put on the whole armor, mm. First Thessalonians 5. Breastplate, that's the word I'm looking for. First Thessalonians 5. There you go. You see, because this thing we're in, it's, it's a spiritual thing. It's not a carnal thing at all. Though we have to, you know, present our bodies as living sacrifices, as the scripture says. You know, this is another thing that you Jake's going to have to understand, especially you just, that you know, that found the truth and whether the Lord wake you up fully or not to it. You know, there's a, an order to this thing. And, uh, and there's a way that, you go about this truth and the best examples to follow is our apostles and elders just, you know, the up in New York City, which they're out there on them highways and byways. And they've been sacrificing them, themselves, their bodies and their lives for this truth, you know, and they're the examples to follow after and the men that are coming up behind them, you know. Um, so here you go. <clears throat> Romans 12 and 1 and I beseech you therefore brethren by the mere mercies of the most high that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice 
holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. All right. And and again, not in carnal means, man. <laughs> That's literal. That's and look, IDF plays hope in new laser anti-rocket system amid expanding war. But wait a minute, I, if they're the people, then shouldn't their God be protecting them? You know, and these scriptures all, you know, you know, all the many examples of when the Lord literally came and fought and, and defeated our enemies for well, he worked through us, but then he, there's examples that he fought and defeated our enemies for us. <laughs> well, if these are the people, where's their God at? Why why isn't he why isn't he saving them? You know, and right now you having them people dying in that, you know, and, and whatever all those I think it's a seven front war they're fighting now. Six or seven front war they're fighting now. And their people are dying. And I know there's a lot of um, foolish jakes that are over there in Atlanta signing up that's had to sign up for that military and that's getting blasted and blown away, you know, by the resistant forces, you know, Hezbollah, and, um, um, you know, Iran's proxies, period. I can't think of all the names of them, um, Hamas and so on. All right. As Hezbollah continues to target northern and central Israel, and again, um, they can't be the people if they're there. It, it doesn't add up. It's not meeting biblical prophecies, you know, because they're there. But here we are seeing wars multiply and increase, and woe, and you know, it's just things are just getting worse and worse. And the scripture says that when the people of Israel, the the, the real children of Israel, return to the land, there will be no more wars. You know, they shall beat their plowsheds into their uh, spears into pruning hooks. Did I re roughly paraphrase it? Beat their spears. Let me see if I can find it. There we go. Um, Isaiah 2 and 4, Micah 4 and 3, and, and he shall judge among many people and rebuke strong nations afar off, and they shall beat their sword. Let's hit Isaiah 2 and 4 first. Let's see what we have here. And, and starting at the top here, the Most High's universal reign. And that universal reign, what? <laughs> you know, that, that, you know, these churches will bug out on that word universal. You know, they, they and like they have done, turn that word into a a whole new doctrine, man, which isn't of the truth. That's what the Catholic um, Church is all about. Actually, I think that's what Catholic means, universal. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto this, unto it. And many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the Most High of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem, and he shall judge among the nations, and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares. And their spears into puny hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. O house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of the Lord. And that's not going on. That's not going on over there. You know? I don't know what that's all about. So here we go. Idea place hopes in the hopes. That's why I pulled up that precept. That's why I pulled up that precept here. See the breastplate. You know, this breastplate, which is the truth. All right. And this word, it, our faith, like the scripture says, first is on five and eight. But let us who are of the day be sober, put it on the breastplate. Of faith and love. 
and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. That's what our hope is on. And those helmets are not literal, physical, carnal things, man. You know, the breastplate and the helmet, those aren't, that's a spiritual thing. <laughs> Their hope. Hold on. It was, let me see if I can find it real quick. Let me see if I can find it. It was another one. I think it was in Peter's, but let me see if I can find it. The word hope. Yeah. I thought it was Peter's. Ooh, 1 Peter 1 and 13. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Um, who by him do believe in the Most High? That raised him up from the dead. Then, you know, those people don't even believe in the Lord, man. You know, you study the, their sayings and you're going to find that them people are straight up enemies of the Lord. And they can't, they hate the Lord. They're anti messiahs, man. So, that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory that your faith and hope might be in the Most High. That's our faith and our hope, you know. Is in the most high. Period. Hit that word hope up real quick. This word hope. This is powerful, man. And again, going back to the scripture with presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice, man. That's you know, you know, can you you know gotta comprehend learn to comprehend that faith and hope, man, that you know is it's not for nothing. You know, that's why we're out there on the highways and the byways and not sitting on a couch every day thinking we're a prophet. Not sitting around in a house all day doing nothing. You know, when you're, again, like the scripture says, present your body as a living sacrifice. You know, what do you, I mean, come on. <laughs> the hope. I should have got the word in the Hebrew first, though. Okay, expectation of evil, fear, expectation of good and hope. The expectations of good and hope. In the Christian sense, joyful and confident expectation of eternal salvation. And when you go into that eternal salvation, um, um, you know, it's, it's beautiful how it goes into that being, um, you know, finding immortality, you know. And those people again over there are getting blasted, dying, man, and 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 they're having problems finding um, manpower to fight in that war over there. You know, they're not having a good time. When Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai said he's gonna have war with Amalek from generation to generation, man, he meant that. And this devil is his, you know, he, the 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 Most High is is pushing this devil into a corner, man, to where he's going to act out of desperation. At, at times coming where he's going to literally act out of desperation. All right? So that living, that, 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 again, don't, don't, don't try and get your, come up with your own um, um, meaning to what that means, that living sacrifice, man. You know, it's, again, you, you're, the whole point of the Lord get, even presenting the truth to you is for you to either um, become a man of the Lord, a prophet, and, re, and turn to repentance, or to, or to mark your simple ass for death. You know, you're supposed to you're supposed to grow in this thing, man, and not take it as a and and you know another thing, and not to be a um, a parrot. Just repeating, and that's what I've noticed with a lot of people that they, especially some niggas in the black conscious community, they just vomit shit out to the other, to one individual, to the next, to the next, and they repeating the same shit over and over, which which isn't nothing, which isn't no truth, you know, at all. And they find themselves sounding and looking like jackasses, you know, the black unconscious community, that all that foolish foolishness. Which they, you know, these people come up with a lot of information, but it's not information that has anything to do with your salvation. 
anything with you repenting and turning back into the Lord. You know, a lot of information which has nothing to do with nothing in all reality. So you don't find yourself, this ain't a thing that you're to come in to be, I mean, of course we all were there at one point or another at the beginning, repeating what the what the, uh, our apostles and elders, uh, starting with Tahar and Gabar, Aramla, um, and Raka, you know, the apostles, the true, the real apostles and elders that started, kick-started this thing on YouTube, and a host of all the others that was with them and up, up under them, you know, we all were repeating what we were taught. But the whole thing is, um, the scripture says, blesses is he who readeth. And, and I know I'm going off into a whole different topic and, you know, not concerning these devils, but, you know, it's just how the spirit works sometimes. But, um, you know, but the, the scripture says to uh, um, study to make thyself uh, approved. And there's another one that um, um, uh, blesseth is he who readeth. Blesseth is he who readeth, not blessed is he who heareth and repeateth. <laughs> you got to get down into this book, you know. You got to get down into it. You got to make it your first love, man. You know, and as time goes on and on, especially when you're diligent, this word of, will purge out the world, out up out of you. That's if the Lord's dealing with you, man. So anyway, back to this locket. So a couple of precepts. Um, and one of a, a very good precept. But let me read some of this first. Again, um, IDF placed hopes in new laser anti-rocket systems amid expanding war. Fighting along Israel's northern border is intensifying with increased rocket fire aimed at the country. The IDF operations in villages near the northern border focuses on expanding and destroying Hezbollah infrastructure supporting by, supported by artillery and airstrikes. The Israeli Air Force continues its attacks on Hezbollah weapons stockpiles and command centers across Lebanon, including in Beirut's the higher quarter. Defense Minister Minister Rat Gallant on Tuesday visited the IDF Northern Command to assess the Army's progress in southern Lebanon. However, shortly before Gallant detailed the IDF's operational achievement in the north, Hezbollah launched a heavy barrage of overwhelming rockets toward the Haffa Bay area and several towns in the western Galilee, most of which were intercepted by Iron Dome batteries. It weren't much to nothing because that's one of the first casualties of war is the truth, man. You know? And right now, there's all kind of reports that Amalek is getting their ass whooped, man. Literally getting their ass whooped. But they're reporting back that, you know, that they're having no casualties and they're, they're not losing no planes and tanks and, and so on and so on. But anyway, back to the precepts here. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, like I said, are not carnal. Okay, it's the truth. Our weapon is this truth, man. It's this word, period. That's why it's, um, it's highly stressed by Apostle Tahar to remain in these scriptures, man. And that's it. Second Corinthians 10 and 4, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds, falsehoods, any of any falsehoods. Okay. Any carnal means, I mean, like these niggas, the black, black panthers and whatever, they're picking up guns. How you gonna pick up a gun and fight him that was blessed with the sword, with the gun? Fleshly, okay. Fleshly, and not just fleshly like your flesh, but okay. Let's have any nature of flesh under the control of the animal appetites, governed by mere human nature, not by the spirit of God. Governed by mere human nature, not by the spirit of the Most High. Having in seats in the animal nature of aroused by the animal nature, humans, human with the included ideal of depravity pertaining to the flesh, to the body related to birth and lineage.
There you go. Um, Romans 8 and 6, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So this is again, man, this is a spiritual thing that's going on. And eesh, because the carnal mind is enmity with the most high, against the most high. For it is not subject to the law of the most high, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please the most high. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of the most high dwelleth in you. Now if any man have not the spirit of, of Yahweh Shai, he is none of his. So to be carnally, to be worldly, you know, resorting to worldly, you know, the worldly ways, flesh, the substance of the living body, which covers the bones and the body of the man, use of natural or physical origin, used of, used of natural or physical origin generation or relationship. The sensuous nature of man, the animal nature, which that's a heathen period. Check this out. The flesh denotes more human nature, the earthly nature of man apart from divine influence, and therefore prone to sin and opposed to the most high. So, you, you know. Divide, that divine influence, which again, which, which that that's where faith and the hope is given from the spirit through the spirit, man. Divine influence through the spirit, and the Lord's not dealing with these people. You know, Satan's dealing with these people. Satan's dealing with them, and these people have. They're the root of all the problems with these crybabies here in Babylon. Israel, we were fighting a war in Israel when we have nothing to do with it. You know? Israel and Ukraine, <laughs> where all the, the Babylonian tax dollars is headed. <laughs> yeah. So Lewis not dealing with these people at all. It's not, it, they're not, they're not the people. Revelation 2 and 9. Revelation 3 and 9. <laughs> you know? And as the scripture says, the heathen happened. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Oh, man. I'm trying to think of the precept. Oh, pointed the lands, my land, appointed my land to their possession. Uh, pointed. Pointed. I just read this precept yesterday too. <laughs> I just read this. I just read this yesterday. Therefore, thus said the Lord, power. Surely, in the fire of my jealousy, have I spoken against the residue of the heathen, and against all Idumia. That's I, this, I, the, 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 the IDF. That's Idumia. That's those are. That's just one of the tribes of Idumia, Amalek, the Idumians. You know. Greek way of saying to eat them, and against all, against all, Idumia, which have appointed my land into their possession, with the joy of all their hearts, with despiteful minds to cast it out for it to for a prey. Prophesy therefore concerning the land of Israel, and say unto the mountains, and to the hills, to the rivers, and to the valleys. You know, that's to all the governing bodies, their leaders, their, and so on. Thus said the Lord Power, Behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and my fury, because ye have borne the shame of the heathen. Therefore, thus said the Lord Power, I have lifted up my hand. Surely the heathen that are about you, they shall bear their shame. And here they are. Hit this thing. Damn bug.
Toss my pen. Damn. Anyway. Got to use my finger. Drop my pen. And here they are. I got the nerve to claim to be the people, man. Who would have imagined that would that would be part of the last days? Biblical prophecy that there's going to be an imposter walking around earth, which is all part of the prophecy. It's part of the scriptures that there's a there's a devil going to be actually walking around saying that he's the actual people of the Lord. <laughs> wow. So um, there you go. They're not the people, you know. So um, continue on in prayer, y'all. You know, time is short. You know. Shalom.